hey guys what's up so today I like to share with you my recent analysis result regarding the um, steel base plate uh, so what I like to share with you is that uh, the base plate which I have used here is a real life uh, example uh, of one of my project where I have worked and the project was in a very high seismic zone so we have a very high tensile force as well as a moment and uh, due to that uh, basically the number of uh, bolts has been increased so the conventional uh, base plate detailing uh, there was uh, some doubt has came in my mind and we did a detailed analysis about it so uh, basically uh, when we have more number of bolts what will happen uh, as per the conventional base plate detailing we have to make uh, the the wing, uh, the wing plate uh, more wider to accommodate the bolts uh, within the uh, within the plate so uh, what and also these wing plates are very important for the base plate behavior because this rib plates are connected with the wing plate so that uh, that plate desired plate behavior which we expect that three edge uh, continuous one discontinuous so that behavior will come if this wing plate will provide enough stiffness now uh, it is uh, it is assumed in most of the cases that this wing plate this rib plate and this base plate they will work as an assembly but i like to show you through the uh, ANSYS finite element analysis what uh, will be the uh, real uh, behavior of of this uh, this base plate so uh, modeling is a very important part and a very complicated part too so i will uh, give you a little example about this uh, modeling so this is the section the section has been uh, modeled like this and uh, you cannot get this <coughs> section directly uh, in ANSYS so you have to uh, prepare this sketch so basically what I did is <coughs> I have uh, uh, prepared a rectangle first by using this uh, sketching commands and uh, so with this I have prepared a, a rectangle and on that rectangle I then I prepare uh, this this interval portion with the help of uh, polyline as well as uh, the the uh, modification I use I have used this this uh, fillet fillet command so uh, 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 similarly all the uh, similarly all the uh, plates has been modeled uh, using ANSYS so in this tutorial I will not able to show you uh, how I have modeled uh, this entire uh, system so basically what I will do I will uh, make it a, a separate uh, tutorial and uh, upload it soon and uh, then uh, okay so uh, so bolts and nuts everything has been uh, modeled in the answers that I have not used uh, SOLIDWORKS for this but if you uh, have SOLIDWORKS you can definitely do that that is up to you uh, so I will come to the uh, modeling uh, so analysis part so in the analysis part uh, the most important part are the uh, contacts so the contacts the welded contacts so the butt weld contacts which we have between this uh, uh, this uh, column section with the base plate so all those welded connections not only but even the fillet well also I have considered as bonded uh, this bolt and nut that has been considered bonded friction contact has been considered between this base plate and the concrete pedestal and uh, okay 
and some frictionless uh, contacts are also being considered and that is basically uh, what I did for this uh, anchor bolt. So anchor bolts inside the concrete they are frictionless and also with the base plate the contact of the this is frictionless uh, because that is the <coughs> desired behavior because we have oversized little bit oversized hole in case of a, uh, the anchor bolt passing through the base plate. So that's all about the contacts then uh, the mesh so in the mesh I have used some uh, some edge refining so this refining which we you have you can get here is uh, used with the uh, edge refining so this is a bias type edge refining uh, in ANSYS you can do with the bias type uh, by de by providing the desired number of divisions uh, sorry divisions and this uh, division I have considered six you can consider more than that depending upon the uh, load uh, stress concentration uh, and okay face meshing I have used uh, in one case and that is for the bolts because uh, the uh, my initial meshing the uh, the bolt face uh, was not coming very uniform so I used the face meshing and also in some cases I have used edge sizing to uh, it's sizing to make it more uh, the mesh uh, the mesh uh, make it make them to make the mesh uh, more uniform so that is all and then uh, fixed support okay I will show you fixed support where I have developed this is the fixed support which I have generated below the uh, this uh, concrete because this concrete pedestal I have not modeled full so I have considered uh, it's only for a 60 uh, 600 mm uh, thickness 600 or 300 I will just check uh, I think it's uh, 300 thickness so for 300 thickness uh, uh, what I did is I have make uh, the bottom of the bolt as well as this portion as fixed and uh, then I have generated a pressure as uh, yes, as you can see that the pressure uh, direction is uh, upward so I have used attention ten, uh, uniformly distributed throughout the section and then I have used a moment so you can find out this is the moment so in the pressure we I can show you okay so the first case this is uh, this uh, initially I made it made it in a compre under compression and then I made it up in, in attention and uh, in the solution um, basically I like to have the total deformation because deformation can give me the real life uh, uh, the the exact behavior also I have asked for the equivalent and the maximum principal stresses so when I have uh, made a run of this analysis file what I have found I like to show you because this wing plate though you can find out the wing plate thickness is same as the section flange thickness because uh, that is because uh, that is required to give a sufficient stiffness but practically you can find out these wing plates are not able <coughs> to to provide enough rigidity to the rib plates so that rib plate can define the bending as well as the deformation behavior of the base plate only in the middle part the base plate behavior is almost almost like a like a plate having three edge continuous but in other cases it is not behaving like that and you can also find it out that the base plate is actually behaving like a cantilever element and this portion you can find out that the uh, values are around one millimeter I will able to show you the behavior so you can find it out that from compression to tension how the base plate is behaving 
Now to uh, make this base plate behavior more desirable, more uh, more uh, desired as per our uh, assumption, what I did, I have proposed a plate like this. So this is one plate I have pro I have proposed, and I have modeled. And uh, what we did is, so these portion it's almost the same. There is no difference at all. I will just show you the total deformation of the system. So you can find it out that the system deformation the definition has been changed a lot. Okay. This portion, this portion, and this portion, the behavior of the plate is like a like a three edge continuous. Uh, you can also find it out that the deformation of the base plate has been reduced largely almost now it is even uh, more than half of what we have analyzed in this example so here I have the maximum deformation at the tip of the section as well as at the tip of this uh, wing plate also I have a very high bending in the base plate which has been largely controlled by providing one thickness but one thing is that is very important that the far edge of this base plate will uh, not behave like a three edge um, this uh, continuous plate so it is uh, what is uh, my observation is that providing this rib plate in the base plate will not provide us any kind of uh, optimization in our design so better we should design our base plate considering it as a uh, two edge continuous so so and one more thing uh, you can find it out that I either it is uh, with that horizontal stiffener or without that horizontal stiffener this portion will always be in the compression because though we have a we have applied a, a tensile force in the section but this portion will always be in the compression so when you design the base plate so from the compression flange to the end of the base plate you can always consider in a contact with the uh, concrete pedestal and even apply the compressive uh, force accordingly so that's all and uh, so that's all uh, from my end and if you have liked my video then please uh, like it Thank you.